I mean, when my name was announced last night, I just felt this acceleration of energy. And when I started thinking about my range, I investigated texture, textures played with fabrics that were opposite to each other. Um, I wanted to incorporate a lot of craftsmanship into my designs and by weaving I think I, I accomplished this and I had a lot of woven and knitted items in my range that were inspired by the arts and craft movement and William Morris, one of the famous forerunners of the arts and craft movement, appreciated craftsmanship um, and he said that industrial manufactured items lack the honesty of craftsmanship. South African fashion is really booming, I think. And I think, wait, I mean, in the future, it's just gonna be insane. Mm -hmm. I can't wait. Designer is Suzanne Haynes. She's got a very intense aesthetic, and it's very noticeable, and I love her craftsmanship and detail that she puts into her girl. She stands out for me, and mm. it's just, mm -hmm. I feel like she's very similar to incorporating a lot of craftsmanship and a lot of detail and a lot of um, yeah. just like exceptional um, handwork. I am going to be designing a range for Mr. Price that will be sold in stores. I'll be going to Durban for two weeks to design the range and work with the team and come up with a suitable collection for the Mr. Price customer. Um, I want to incorporate a lot of relevant trends that are um, in season right now. But I'll only be, I think I'll only have the range out this time next year. So I can't wait, I think it's going to be very exciting. And then I'm also going to be working with Al and the team for two weeks. And I can't wait, that's going to be insane. I want to do a summer range. Mm -hmm. And I want to include a lot of, I mean, a lot of more, a lot of texture, but use bamboo mm -hmm. and cotton because mm -hmm. that's more cool, cooler fabrics that will work mm -hmm. in a South African climate. Something maybe a bit more pretty. I mean, the looks that I presented last night were quite strong and um, quite severe and quite slick. I think I'm going to have something more pretty and um, brighter colors, maybe some pinks and yellows. So I'm excited for that. When you do experience the nightlife in South Africa or in Cape Town and you take in all the cultures and what people are wearing, you can really understand the people and, and the subcultures and you can really design kind of around that. And I think I get a lot of inspiration from that and what people, I mean, I get inspired by culture, um, basically anything, nature clouds, whatever, you know, like it's just one of those ongoing processes where going out, meeting new people really inspires me.